What up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about planetary gearboxes and uh, gear ratios and that kind of thing. All because um, I need a new gearbox for my combat robot. So let's get into it. So the reason behind this video is I basically need a new gearbox <laughs> or multiple new gearboxes for my combat robot because they got smashed to hell in the last battle uh, up at Extreme Robots Cheltenham if you want to go and check that out there's a link somewhere. Um, but uh, I wanted to know what exactly what the ratio was so I could buy perhaps a purpose built P60 or something gearbox from Bainbots also link description that kind of thing. Um, or whether to just go with um, another cordless drill. But the trouble is, every cordless drill that I've bought so far, I've had plastic gears, which for a combat robot isn't a good idea. <laughs> so let's get straight into it. So here we've got all the components of a uh, planetary gearbox in a uh, cordless drill. This is the one that got <laughs> horribly mangled um, in the last fight of the uh, Robot Wars video. Uh, go and check that out, I'll put it somewhere anyway. Okay, you've basically got four major components. You've got your uh, ring gear. This is what goes around the outside. I'll demonstrate this in a moment. You've got your planet gears, uh, which are these, uh, which is rotates inside of there. Uh, you've got your carrier, which is basically, as the name implies, um, carries your planet gears. Ooh, uh, drop in stock. And then you've got your... Um, sun gear, which in this case the sun gear is attached to the motor. I hope you can see that. Yeah, there we go. Um, so the way these look together is uh, basically these um, little. I hope you can see all this as it's going. Sit on the carrier itself, and then the carrier sits inside of the. If I can get it in. Oh. I have to turn it the right way, that would help, uh, inside the ring gear itself. And as then the carrier spins, the ring gear spins, and I uh, hope that's in focus, like so. And then your sun gear would fit inside of there. So in this case, uh, the little motor would then fit inside of there, and that's what drives the gearbox. So to find out the ratio of this gearbox, so you uh, say you're planning on buying a purpose-made gearbox for this application like I'm looking at doing the P60s, more on that in another video, um, you basically you count the amount of teeth that's in the um, ring gear, so in this case I've already counted it, there's 45 inside of there, <laughs> I'm not going to bore you with me, you're going to yeah, it's 45. And then uh, you count the amount of teeth on your sun gear. In this case, on the sun gear is on the motor again, which is uh, nine teeth. To calculate the actual amount of teeth on the carrier itself, we don't actually need to count them at all. All we need to do is add up the amount of teeth that are on the ring gear with the amount of teeth that's on your sun gear. And in this case, it's 54. So basically this gearbox can have three different ratios which is quite confusing depending on what's stationary and what's moving. So if I build up this one again with these teeth that actually work. So this is what the gearbox would kind of look like inside the thing. So depending on whether the ring gear stationary, the carrier stationary or the sun gear stationary depending on which input and output we use, depends on what ratio we get. But the only ratio we're interested in for our um, cordless drill motors is the sun gear, which is turning the carrier. So um, the sun gear would fit inside of this, which is what the motor is spinning. This in turn turns these planet gears, which is what turns the carrier. The actual ring gear is fixed inside the gearbox. Uh, the ring gear would fit inside of that casing there and it would be stationary. So the ring gear is not moving at all. The only thing that's moving is the sun gear which is turning the planet gears which is turning the carrier. I hope that makes sense. I'll do a diagram or something afterwards. So to work out the ratio we need to divide the amount of driven teeth which would be the carrier which we know is 54 from adding the ring 
and the sun gear amounts together by the drive gear which is the sun gear from the motor which has nine teeth so in this case it would be 54 divided by 9 which is 6 so which means this stage or this first part of the gearbox is 6 to 1 now spoiler alert they're both exactly the same so um, both the amount of teeth and everything on both the ring planet and sun on both stages of this gearbox are the same so the way it gets the sort of the next reduction then is the actual sun gear of the next stage so if you can imagine um, I can't altogether show it that well but if you imagine this that and there and oh yeah okay, that works there we go um, this these would be attached to a carrier that's in the next part of the gearbox which is attached to the wheel see that's the carrier that's attached to the wheel that'd be attached to a big long like you see the big long shaft that connects to the wheel itself so the sun gear is the gear that's off the back of the previous carrier so in this case the sun gear is the drive gear and again the um planet gears and the next stage carrier would be the driven being exactly the same amount it would be six to one again so we take six to one and six to one so we take both values from that so just the first value so we take six and six and we multiply them together which gives us 36 which means this entire gearbox in this tiny little space here is a 36 to one gearbox so now you can take that ratio and you can look on the internet so in my case i'm looking to look at the p60s or the p61s so the closest p60 gearbox they do is uh, 38 to 1 so very very similar so that they would perform pretty pretty identically um but the only thing with the p61s i think the closest one they are you have to have go down to i think is it 28 or something like that i think it is or go all the way up to 64 so I haven't decided which one I'm going to go with yet, whether I'm going to stick with the old, well, let's say old, like the P60ones are just a, a slight upgrade to the P60s. But being as that's the closest ratio to what I had, and this worked really well in the competition, I may end up just going with the P60s with the um, 38 to 1 gear ratio. So basically that's all there is to it, really. Um, I say that's all there is to it, it's can be very confusing if like if, if you just saw that gearbox with no context you'd be like what the hell so if you don't know it's very confusing that's why like i said in the intro i decided to make this video um because there's no sort of one-stop shop for working out gear eight ratios of um particularly gearboxes and things like that and i think it would be quite useful so hey let me know <laughs> So just to try to illustrate this a bit better for non-cordless drill applications as well as cordless drills, um, I'm going to do a few examples. Firstly, we'll do another um, cordless drill analogy. So the sun gear itself is um, going to be the drive gear, the planet gears and the carrier is going to be the driven gears, and the ring is going to stay stationary. So in this, we're going to take the sum of the sun and the ring gears teeth like add them together so we'll take the previous example again so the sun was nine um i'll put this sun uh ring carrier so the sun was nine the ring gear was 45 and the sum of that is 45 plus nine equals 54 54 so in this case the drive gear is the sun gear the driven gear is the carrier or the planet gears driving the carrier so we need to divide the carrier which is the driven gear which is 54 divided by the sun gear which is the drive gear which is 9 which gives us a 6 ooh 6 which means we have a 6 to 1 ratio on that one so that's if the ring gear stationary, the carrier's being driven, and the sun's driving. But if we flip that around, so say now we want the ratio, say the um, ring gear is moving and the carrier's staying stationary. So the driven gear would be the sun gear in this case, which is nine. 
and then we would divide that by the drive gear in this case which is the the ring itself so the ring if we look up here is 45 so that will give us calculator <laughs> so that will give us 0 0.2 which means that is a 0 0.2 to one ratio we can also flip the directions so in this case if we have the ring gear being the driven this time and the sun being the drive gear which will be 45 divided by and then, ooh, 9 which will give us a 5 which will be a 5 to 1 ratio from this so I hope all that made sense I'm going to link a few more videos sort of from other YouTubers that I found that was incredibly useful in getting my own head around all this um, below um, but for the all intents and purposes for what we're looking at with the cordless drill motors and gearbox and things we're going to be using for the drive for the robot the main one we want to look at is the carrier and the sun gear here so now we have that we can time that by the two stages that are in the gearbox itself which gives us our 36 to 1 ratio which is very nice indeed anyway there you have it hopefully that makes sense in some form again i'll post like sort of really good tutorials that i followed and things down in the description below uh, as well as a written sort of how-to version of what i've just explained which probably does it better than i do so all that will be in the description below so hopefully there's going to be some more videos on the robot coming soon, um, specifically about the drive and everything, depending on whether I decide to go with a P60, P61, whatever version of the gearbox, or whether I just try and keep buying, <laughs> buying cordless drills until I find one that works. Either way, it's uh, all going to be hopefully coming soon. But anyway, thanks everybody for watching. If, no, no. Thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I shall see you next time. Ta-da!